it's a wonderful opportunity for us to come to the media to announce the upcoming event. Uh, it's called the Walk for Freedom. And today we have the members, the team of the Project Pearl, which is hosting this event in Panjim, is here. I would like to introduce the founder, uh, director of Project Pearl of Bethesda Life Center, Bina Philip, who is heading the project in Goa and also uh, the main host for this event that's coming up on the 14th. And we also have Advocate Shapnam, who is our uh, advocacy manager for Project Pearl, um, working hard to uh, bring out this event. And along with all the other initiatives that we do under Project Pearl, we also have uh, Advocate Susan Alexander. Um, she is our administrative manager as well. So we are very pleased to take this opportunity to bring this news to the public so that we can invite so many people who can join us for this uh, walk for freedom. So I'd just like to ask um, uh, Bina to help us understand what is this freedom, uh, walk for freedom is all about. And, uh, and uh, after that, we will uh, go to uh, Advocate Shapnam and Susan as well. Thank you. Uh, walk for freedom is initiated by an org international organization called A21. Uh, who's been running this organization for the last 15 years and for the last more than 10 years they've been having this walk for anti-human trafficking uh, in more than 50 countries and um, more than 500 walks all over the world so we are privileged along with movement India to uh, do the walk this is our third walk in Goa we started at, in 2019 and uh, then 2022, because of the COVID, we couldn't do in between. But uh, this is the third walk we are uh, hosting in Goa by Project Pearl. And uh, Project Pearl uh, is a social wing of Bethesda Life Center. We've been running, uh, uh, you know, Bethesda Life Center for the last um, 22 years in Goa, looking after uh, women and children. And uh, Project Pearl has been launched in Goa in 2023 in uh, in the month of uh, January and uh, we've been very active uh, helping the society. So Project Pearl is an anti-human human trafficking organization as well uh, in Goa. So we are hosting the, the, the Walk for Freedom this year. Yeah, we also like to just explain what Project Pearl have achieved over the last, uh, uh, the time that we have launched this project. Uh, maybe I'll ask uh, Shabnam to give us an uh, understanding of what that is all about, what, what, in which area we have been involved in us in the society here. Okay, coming to Project Pearl programs that we have conducted uh, from the launch from uh, January 2023, uh, we have been conducting uh, awareness sessions for the community that's in Panjim and nearby areas on topics of human trafficking, uh, child rights, uh, child protection, juvenile justice act. Apart from that, we have got permissions from the Department of Education to conduct awareness programs in all the schools in Goa. So, so far we have uh, covered around 20 schools and uh, covered 1,200 children who have been made aware about human trafficking, uh, the nuances about human trafficking, how to identify. Uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one interaction with the students. Apart from human trafficking, we also take topics on the Juvenile Justice Act, the POXO Act, uh, child rights and responsibilities. We have a very huge response from the school authorities, from the students as well who are very proactive in knowing more about these issues that we have in the society. Uh, and we are looking forward for getting more permissions from the schools to conduct the uh, sessions. We are on hold right now because of the exams that are going on. Uh, apart from that, we have also conducted awareness sessions in the child care institutes in Goa. Uh, around 8 to 10 child care homes have been uh, covered so far on the same related topics. We have also have uh, conducted outreach programs on begging in Panjim city. And uh, we have done uh, two outreaches and one night outreach in the casino area where we have identified beggars, uh, mainly homeless men in Panjim city. And uh, it is an initiative of the per Project Pearl where we have also opened up a new home called Pearl's Home and we have uh, successfully uh, uh, you know, rescued and rehabilitated 16 homeless men 
and uh, they have been uh, successfully kept in the world's home given proper nutrition care shelter uh, medical facilities and most of the 16 men have been uh, properly rehabilitated back into society uh, to their family or put in for uh, some jobs yeah, yeah. we have uh, adding to it we have uh, done a training yeah, program training for uh, police police as well we've had how many training uh, uh, in the during the launch we had a training on human trafficking uh, for all the participants at the the main stakeholders being the goa police Uh, we also had for the child welfare committees for the department of women and child to the juvenile justice board the children's court the colleges of uh, social work and law college and many ngos participated we had a 3 day uh, training session on human trafficking this was in january when we had the official launch of project pearl apart from that just recently in the month of july we had a 3 day training session on uh, the first day being on uh, human trafficking uh, the juvenile justice act and pokso act again for the various stakeholders of uh, goa police we had a good uh, representation from the goa police from the uh, goa state commission of women uh, and uh, even the child rights from the ngos from uh, cwcs from the jjb from the children's court from law college to uh, social work college to schools and colleges participating in this we had around 120 participants or for a full day session on the second day we had a training just for the staff of project pearl and better sa life center and for the students of law college and the social work college on human trafficking on the third day we had a training on posh that is uh, uh, protection of uh, sexual harassment at workplace Uh, we had around 120 participants again who came for the post training from various sectors of uh, hotel industry and small scale uh, uh, organizations factories uh, we had a, a good representation and we had a very good feedback people have gone back with lots of information which they were unaware of yeah so you can uh, understand that project pearl has uh, has a quite a a lot of impacting work already have been done but coming to this event that is happening this weekend um and we are hoping that um, a lot of people from all walks of life will join on this walk and especially this walk for freedom and what is the significance of it you know why are we doing this that's very important for us to understand so i just want to read out a small statistics for your interest 49.6 million people are caught in various forms of modern day slavery globally including exploitation for sex labor organ baby selling forced marriages domestic servitude reports the international labor organization 2022 this means that one in every 150 people globally are enslaved here in india Eight children were trafficked every day in 2021, according to the Crime in India report, National Crime Record Bureau, 2021. In Goa, as recently as June 2023, two Nepali girls were being exploited and supplied to customers for the purpose of commercial sex, and the accused were living off the earning of the racket. A timely and decisive. immoral traffic prevention raid conducted by goa police led to the rescue of this girl girls according to national herald report and so we want to congratulate the department of police for their proactive role and we as an ngo as an organization are just here to help and assist like many other organization in tackling the um, and the human trafficking issue so this walk for freedom is to bring awareness about it in, the, in, in all over india as you know 100 places 100 locations this year this walk has been conducted and we are fortunate to have it in asad maidan um on on this coming saturday which is the 14th of october starting at 8 am and i like to um ask bina uh and shabnam could give us a little insight into who are coming uh, we have some very important people coming and joining us so one of you could just yeah our uh, chief guest is going to be um sp north north goa sp nidin walsan is going to be our chief guest and we have 
um, guest of honors, two guest of honor. Uh, we have uh, Boswe sir, uh, SP of anti-human trafficking, and we have um, Sujeta ma'am, uh, who is SP. Do you want yeah. Uh, we have got uh, Nidin sir as a SP North uh, who will be the chief guest for the occasion who will flag off the walk. Uh, we also have two guests of honor. One is uh, SP uh, Bose Silva sir who is the SP of Anti-Narcotics and also the Women's Police Station and the Anti-Human Trafficking Unit. And apart from uh, Bose sir, we also have got SP Sucheta Desai who is the SP for training and uh, Goa Reserve Police Force. And so far, uh, we have uh, the participants who are registered already is already crossed about 120. And we are hoping to have at least 200 people joining in the next one or two days. Anything else, any other information that we could uh, uh, provide? Uh, any of you wanted to add to any? Um, yes. Do you need? They can always ask us. Yeah, tell me, uh, what is the status of this human trafficking? Okay. Um, the statistics about the human trafficking is not an easy easy uh, thing to find out because a lot of these things happen undercover. So um, we can only rely on the government statistics right now, which I've just read out. And uh, so um, to answer the question whether it is coming down. Um, we are not the right people to answer that, but we, one thing we know that uh, the, the need for awareness is always important. So what we are doing is to bring it across to the public sphere uh, that these are things happening in the world and uh, none of us are, none of the nations are free from it. India is not free from it. Goa is not free from it. So bringing awareness, we are able to curtail it and so that we can protect the community. Government is doing uh, their best, but definitely, uh, you know, we want to work with the government, with the police department. Uh, you know, so far we have done that and we are giving whatever we can do, we are doing, you know, to give training to the police and making an awareness in uh, among the police as well about uh, human trafficking. Uh, but definitely we are expecting them to cooperate with NGOs like us to move forward as well you know especially with um, even with awareness program if we have their support they stand with us uh, and because one of the main key as Martin said uh, is awareness people need to know this is happening and it is happening even in Goa uh, that everyone everyone is aware of it so we want a more cooperation from the government department and the police department um, to stand with us so that we can uh, make things better. See, usually it is because of lack of evidence that you know the case doesn't go in front, and sometimes most of the time also there are also false cases that come up, that come up. So it actually it's all on the part of the police how they handle the case, you know how what kind of a tip off they get and what kind of a raid they make. So it's all on the police. So that's what more sensitivity is also required for the police force. You know what I'm trying to say because it's not that it's only for the schools and colleges and everybody else. The main stakeholder is the anti-human trafficking unit and they require more of uh, you know the best practices. Uh, they need to be told every time what are the procedures, how to do it and we are there for that. We are there to provide the training, we are there to provide the awareness. It's just that we need their support. So it is never and the very fact that they are also taking part in this walk this year. The AHT unit and the women police station yeah. is a part of our walk. They have confirmed their presence and they'll be telling us how many police personnel are coming. So yes, they are also aware of the things that are happening around and uh, they also don't deny the fact that it really happens. So uh, I just want to add on to that. Uh, it's not that uh, it's not because they are not taking action. The actual thing is the case doesn't go ahead is mm. because the FIR is not strong. The FIR is the most important thing where you have to have the sections because when the trial time comes, it depends upon the sections which is added and that is the time why the, the brothel keepers, the pimps who has to be punished 
till that fear doesn't come, there won't be a thing can work out on this. So that is most important thing, and that is the way the affair. If the affair is strong enough, the case will go well. So, anyone wants to still register? How do you go about? Uh, we have uh, a link that uh, we can give it to you if you want it if you are putting it in the media or there is a registration uh, on the site as well and even they can walk in if they we have got on the spot registration yeah. also they can just walk in at azad maidan and just register themselves 